Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to talk about ABAP Git. ABAP Git is a great tool for every ABAP developer to use the version control tool Git within the SAP system to control uh, different versions of your ABAP coding, to pull different codings within, for example, GitHub, GitLab, whatever, a, a repository. And this is a really, really great tool. And in this video, I would like to show you how you can set up ABAP Git uh, because basically uh, um, in ABAP Git there are two flavors the standalone version and the developer version for the standalone version um, yeah you don't have one um, one single transaction used you just have to call a program and if you would like to work with the parallel processing and then you have to use the developer version because the developer version is targeted at developers contributing to the ABAP Git code base so that is not possible for the standalone version um, in the yeah, as a prerequisite um, you need to have SAP basis version 702 or higher and and it is recommended to use as uh, SAP GUI for Windows. Uh, you can use ABAP Git within uh, the ABAP editor, so the SE38, within the Object Navigator, SE80, and of course within Eclipse, so within the ADT, ABAP development tools. So that's all we will cover within this video. So enjoy this video and let's get started. So in order to install the standalone version of ABAP Git, first of all, you have to download or copy the basic programming, the basic ABAP program for the standalone version. So within here, you have to open up this URL to get access to this file, to this ABAP coding. I will put the link in the video description and here you can use Control A and Control C to copy this code or you can just download this file to your local computer and upload it later on. And then basically you go into your SAP system uh, within the ABAP editor, so the transaction code SE38. You could also use the SE80 or uh, within Eclipse, within the ABAP development tools to, yeah, to create this program. And within here uh, you create a new report named set ABAP git underscore standalone and then you click on create and then basically you have to you have to specify a name a title what you like to so for example ABAP uh, git you can also leave it blank if you want to it doesn't matter within type you have to select executable program uh, you can leave the other settings as they are then you can just click on the save button and then within here you can use the dollar tmp so your local package uh, you can also here click on this local object button to save it to your local uh, package um, if you want to, you can also yeah, use it, uh, refer it to another package, it doesn't matter. Um, but uh, yeah, normally you'd use it because you don't transfer this program into the quality or into productive system because you're just using it within the developer system. So that's perfectly fine. So I click on the save. And now what we have to do is that we select the first line on the report and then we're using Control V to paste in your code. So that's perfectly fine. Just uh, make some settings here at the beginning and at the end. So I'm removing the last line Then I'm using the preprinter with Shift F1. So and then I'm doing a syntax text check with the Control F2. So normally no syntax error should occur. If a syntax error occur, then you might uh, have a trouble during uh, copy and paste. So that's perfectly fine. And then I'm activating it. So I select everything. Yeah. So the, as you can see, there is a lot of code. So it could take some time. So don't worry. Um, as mentioned, if you have any troubles during copy and paste the code, then you can also use utilities. More utilities. Upload 
download and then upload and then you can also upload the downloaded ABAP coding I've shown you a couple of seconds before and then basically yeah you're good to go you have the standalone version that is everything what you need with the F8 key then you can execute the report and then you can see the standalone version here um, yeah basically we have two um, demo um, programs here um, available so yeah and now you can already use abap git and yeah happy happy using abap git with versioning if you would like to install the developer version and then first of all as mentioned within here you have first of all install the standalone version so you should be within here and then basically uh, there are two ways you can use the online um, version or the online possibility or the offline possibility if you would like to use the online possibility then you have to make sure that ssl is configured correctly that you have access to the internet so don't firewall is blocking the connection and so on and then you're running the standalone version so you're just executing your uh, set report set up git underscore standalone and then you have to click on new online so within here on new online and then what you have to do is that you have to enter a git repository url so this one i will also put in the video description within package you have to make sure that you're not allowed to use the package dollar tmp in this case so you have to make sure to use another local um, package whatever you like to so for example just uh, use abap git create it whatever you like to and then you have to click on create online repo so for example here right now as we can see that i have some um, http error so the ssl is not set up correctly so if this occurs for you as well so for example i'm using the aba platform trial 1909 and then you can also use the offline version so um to, to do this, first of all, you have to go to the GitHub page of ABAPGit and then within code, you have to download the zip file. So once the file has been downloaded successfully, then once again, we go into our ABAPGit and then you have to make sure to run it and then you are in this page and then you click on a new offline and then you enter the repository name abap git and as a package name once again dollar abap git or of course you can also select a new local package what you like to and then what you have to do is then you click on the create offline repo button and then you have to click on import zip and then what you have to do is that you select your ABAP git file, your zip file, and then you uh, select it. Yeah, you have to remember your decision because now um, the SAP GUI is trying to access uh, the file on your local computer. So that's perfectly fine. So and now what you have to do is you have to click on pull zip. And then you have to yeah to make sure to select every object. So that's perfectly fine. In my case, you have to click on continue. Then you have to confirm this. So that's perfectly fine. I continue. Okay, great. So now you have successfully pulled the um, repository, the package. And now we can see that if we open up the set ABAP git transaction that now the developer version is ready for being used so yeah uh, if you have any questions regarding abap git please put them in the comment section if you like this video please hit the like button and please support my work support this youtube channel by subscribing thank you so much and then see you on the next video